Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I'm coming at you with a really, really quick little demo test out type of video. We are going to be reviewing the little stamp, the little eyeshadow stamp. We're gonna see if it really works or not. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this video. But before we get into the video, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. What are you doing? Subscribe to the channel, become part of the beauty squad. And yes, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we're gonna hop right in. This is the um, Hoodi Pretty Glittering Eyeshadow to Seal. So that's what that looks like. We have directions on the back. We're gonna go ahead and just pull it out the box because all that is a little bit weird. Three things came out in it. We have this little thing here. I got nails, so it's kind of hard to show. This little thing, it looks like a little perfume pump. And then we have the stamp. I'm guessing that little piece goes inside here. And I'm gonna just spin this around on it so that can. So this is what it looks like when it's completely on. What I'm supposed to do is put a little bit of product here or here, whatever you wanna do, but I wanna do a little cut crease, so I'm gonna put a little concealer on this, so. So first I wanna see how I wanna place this on my eyes. And I'm guessing it's like that. It will be like that. So if you guys can see that, like that. All right, so I'm gonna try to put some right here. Like that. Even though I don't need the whole thing, I'm just gonna put it on it, okay? Because I'm not sure what's going on here. So it's on there, okay. And then, boop, there you go. Well, doesn't look that bad. I would definitely do my cut crease a little bit higher up on the inner corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that one more time. And then I'm gonna like angle it up more. See what happens. Oof, okay. So if I want my cut crease all the way up there, that's what it will look like. Okay, okay, let's see if we can make something out of this. It really looks like it did a good job. Now you guys, I've seen a couple of videos on these and it never worked out for anybody. So I'm kind of shocked that it actually did an okay job. Hmm. And I'm gonna just go in on that cut crease with that just to set it, basically. See what happens. So I'm gonna go back in with this and do another cut crease because I didn't want that. So about right there. And for a two-in-one review, I have this little pressed glitter um, palette that I got off of eBay, which I will be getting into more in depth when I have my next eBay haul video, but here's what it looks like inside. Look at those pretty colors. I'm lazy and I'm just gonna try it out without a glitter base. If it sticks, we'll see. Huh, actually sticking. Okay, ooh, this actually works out great. You know what, I should have tried it with the stamp because it showed the stamp doing glitter stuff, so I probably shouldn't do it at this stage in the game because I've already added a little bit of glitter already, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try it on here. There it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the lid. Stamp! Okay, well, it got a little bit on there. I wouldn't recommend it for the glitter though because it barely got it on there. You see, it's still a whole bunch of product on there. Okay, so like the other side, I lifted it up a little bit higher, like that. You guys can see that. And then let it go. 
Now it kind of got a little bit of that on there. It didn't get the full thing. But um I mean, I get why people don't like it because it definitely doesn't get the product all over the lid like it shows on the videos, like one stamp and you're like, wham, bam, snatch, honey. But it ain't like that, you guys. <laughs> you have to really, really work with it. If you want to use it just as a guide to do a cut crease, I think that would definitely work out for you because this definitely helped me have a nice little straight guide on um, a perfect, you know, cut crease. But it does make mistakes, as you can see right here. But you can just try to, you know, try to blend it out a little bit. All right, so this is this is what we came out with. Just a really quick look. I know it's not all that, but I just wanted to actually show you guys, you know, what this stamp does. Just something really quickly done. So like I said, take the poll. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it worked? Was it worth the money I paid? I got it off of eBay. I forgot how much I paid for it. I will leave it somewhere in the video or in the bottom bar below. So check that out. It was really cheap. It was like maybe $13. And you guys, I had bought this before and I lost it. And when I bought it, I bought it for like 30 something dollars. So, and it was by another brand. It was not worth 30 something dollars. Make sure you go on eBay and find it for like $13 or less. I would definitely be using this for my cut crease looks. So you guys be the judge. Would you use that? Do you think it's worth the money? All of that good stuff. So yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure you click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And make sure you check out my recent videos here and what YouTube thinks that you would like the most. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.